Eric Ten Hag is said to be on Manchester United's list of permanent managerial candidates. Manchester United could gain a valuable insight into Eric Ten Hag's style of man management if he is able to follow through on his transfer plans at Ajax ahead of the January window. The Dutchman is believed to be on United's list of targets to replace Ralf Rangnick as their permanent manager at the end of the season. Ten Hag has established himself as one of Europe's most exciting coaches during his time in charge of Ajax, leading the club to the Champions League semi-finals in his first season at the helm. He has also been successful in keeping his squad competitive despite losing a number of key players such as Matthijs de Ligt, Donny van der Beek and Hakim Ziyech in the years since Ajax have won two league and cup doubles under Ten Hag's guidance and currently find themselves in a strong position to secure at least one more domestic trophy this time around. The 51-year-old is also said to be one of the names on United's radar as they look to appoint a new permanent boss ahead of next season. United Chiefs are believed to admire Ten Hag's preferred style of play, while his ability to extract the very best from his players would also suit the Red Devils down to the ground. The likes of Van der Beek and Jadon Sancho have struggled to get going at Old Trafford and could reap the rewards of Ten Hag's arrival if he emerges as the man to succeed Rangnick in the dugout. The Ajax boss may get a chance to prove his man management skills to United between now and next season, with the Dutch Giants reportedly keen on a January move for Dean Henderson. David de Gea has firmly established himself as United's first choice goalkeeper this season, leaving Henderson out in the cold and weighing up the idea of a fresh challenge elsewhere. Ajax have since emerged as a potential destination for the England stopper who may be allowed to join them on either a six-month or 18-month loan deal at the turn of the year, according to the Manchester Evening News.